Okay, so what can the average person use a smart contract for? Okay, so good question. So before we can talk about that, let's do first define a smart contract. Smart contract is basically taking things people normally do kind of like in a contract with, with legal stuff, right, with lawyers, and you're turning that into software, right? So this is where we get the expression code is law. So for example, you can get transactions or you, or you can get two parties who don't know each other and don't trust each other to transact with trust. That's what's crucial about blockchains and smart contracts. Now, yes, yeah, smart contracts are technical, but however, there are dApps, decentralized applications that leverage smart contracts that people can use without having to be developers. So ex here are some examples. Let me pull, pull up some examples off the top of my head, okay? So Uniswap is a decentralized exchange, right? So if we pull this up here, you can trade similar to an exchange between two different parties without having to be a developer, right? So if we go to over here, we can swap a token. So for example, I can get 10 Ethereum, go over here and say, I want to swap that for basic attention token, right? So it will give me this. I just hook up my wallet to it using MetaMask or some other uh, Web3 Web3 browser, whatever, or wallet, and I can exchange, right? This, this is all being done via smart contracts, however, the abstracted this and added a user interface to this so i don't have to do any any of the smart contract work i can also send ether or token to, to somebody else right i can say i'll send 10 ether and i want to convert that to to bancor and send this to a friend of mine because maybe i owe him bancor right so this is one example right so dexes are examples for this um one other example would be if we go to Maker, right? Actually, no, let's go to Compound. Compound Crypto, right? So Compound is really something that's blown up. Compound.finance. So the, the Compound protocol currently has over $115 million of assets on the protocol, right? So how do we use Compound? So let's... Let's go here. Okay, yeah, this is the app uh, we need to use. Okay, hold on. It's telling me I got to connect to a wallet. I can't use this without connecting a wallet. Okay, yeah, here we go. Right, so let's say you want to borrow money. Right, so same thing with, with, the, with, with the exchange or DEX. But in this case, everything is decentralized. We, you can borrow money, right? So I can send somebody... 100 ether or 10 ether and it gives me die right right let's say i would like to borrow die by using my ethereum as collateral that's that's one of the example right so let's say i would like to use let's say i have die even right so on the on the reverse side you can lend out your cryptocurrency to somebody else and earn interest on that right so that those are examples on how people are leveraging smart contracts without having to to be experts in smart contracts. Now, the other one I wanted to pull up was DYDX is kind of the same thing, right? It's, it's also a, an exchange, but this allows you to trade with, with margin, right? So kind of like other DEXs, but in this case, we're trading by borrowing money and using leverage, right? So if anybody out there who does leverage trading, so let's go over here, All right? So here we can margin trade up to 5X. Then we can also borrow assets and interest on crypto, all this good stuff, All right? So in this case, let's say we'd like to margin trade, right? We can go over here, margin trade 5X. Okay, what is this, custom? Hold up, son, I didn't know they had this. Okay, yeah, 5x is the, is the max. <laughs> I was about to say, I was like, can you put 100x? Okay, let's say you want to do 4.5. Okay, I see why they have that custom. But yeah, so this is one of the example. This is all based on smart contracts. So let's find a different example. Let's find Maker DAO. So MakerDAO is kind of the same thing. 
uh, they have different products so we can go over here we can use oasis to trade borrow and save using DAI. we can migrate we can use we can do governance so let's go to oasis right oasis is kind of the same thing nice user interface so here we can borrow money we can earn savings on DAI by locking it in oasis save so kind of like, like a savings bank right here shows you different cryptocurrencies they support right so oasis is a platform for decentralized finance let's go to let's go to save die and see what we have right so and what is the saving rate here okay so it seems i gotta hook up my my wallet to that and i don't want to do that right now but that, you guys kind of get the idea right you go here you hook it up right i don't have my my meta mask tied to this yeah but that's kind of the the idea yeah. right so going back to your question what can the average person use a smart contract for well to recap you can trade send money borrow money lend money earn savings there's so many things you can do with, with smart contracts and this is really the power of decentralized finance and DeFi. so i highly encourage you to go out there and do research on this use this because this is definitely the future, in my opinion. Let me know what you think in the comments down below.